for the 356th time in legendary Memorial Stadium in the heartland of America, Lincoln, Nebraska. Yet another sellout as the Cornhuskers play host to the Huskies of Northern Illinois. All right, Christian Hagen will kick it away. Nebraska won the toss, elected to receive. Speedsters Tajan Lindsay and J.B. Spielman are back deep. It comes down to Lindsay, and he dropped it into the end zone. He could stay in, and that's what he needs to do, and he does once the ball goes through there. Great arm, perfect to run this Mike Riley pro-style offense, and it's a quick pitch to Spielman to start. Wilbon in for the injured Trey Bryant in the backfield, and he'll tote it this time. As the first down before being thrown out, problem with his knee that had been injured before, cropped up against Oregon. Beautiful out pattern, and it's caught by DeMorne Pearson L. He had some big time catches a week ago. Wilbon again. Good penetration this time. Little curl pattern, and it's caught. Look at that by Lindsay. John Lindsay near the first down. Bounce out by Will Bond. Shakes one would-be tackler. Gets it down to the 10-yard line. Second down and three. Uh -oh. They were sitting on it, and it's picked off. Northern Illinois comes away. It's Shawan Lurie, the All-America candidate for the Huskies. Mm. Eyes big back inside in for the quarterback. His eyes are focused. That's film study. He sees the little off the ball motion there. No false step. He drives on that, takes it to the house. Yeah, it, it's more than film study. That play was practiced. Because no one throws in that direction. Well, they did today, and you found out why the scouting report is what it is for Tanner Lee, who's been beset with pass interceptions. Some his fault, some not his fault. And here comes Tyjon Lindsay again. He's out to the 17-yard line. Riley was looking for a fast start, fellas, here at home after the loss in Eugene. You see Wilbon ahead for maybe two, possibly three. He'd be the player he wanted to be. A little case of amnesia would help is what you're saying. Yeah. That's correct. There's uh, Pearson L. He's a couple of yards shy of the first down. Wilbon trying to bounce outside. Great penetration there again by Northern Illinois. They, they may not be big. They do boot it away, a high spiral and a fair catch called for at the 26-yard line. Quarterback Jordan Huff is the lone setback. And it's Huff right off the left side and play as they go tempo, as Les mentioned. They'll play quick all day long. And here's DJ Brown, one of their favorite targets, a yard shy of the first down before being pushed back. Okay. So Childers is in the game at quarterback, and he takes it off the right side for the first down. We plan to see opposite of what Nebraska's doing offensively. A little bit like Arkansas State, who the fans here in Lincoln saw a couple of weeks back in the opener. The times they faced them, the only point differential was five points at the halftime. Little run pass option look there, and they find Blake. And they come that way. Roll to the field. Yep. Incomplete. It was there. Oh. DJ Brown was overthrown. They've been a really championship program in recent years in the Mid-American Conference. Pearson L lets it drop. And that's going to be a healthy roll for NIU. That real mistake there. The three-yard boot. Nebraska starts from the two, and it's Mikhail Wilbon burrowing ahead to the five-yard line. He chose Nebraska. On second down, Lee's pass, a quick curl. Gamone Pearsonell gets it to the nine-yard line. Nebraska just needs to make a couple more powers today, Tim. You're, you're taking all the birdies off. Indeed. Time. Thank you. And they just missed a two-footer right there. Opportunity to have a short yardage play there. Lightborn boots it away. Jalen Embry's back deep. Another fair catch called. That is 40. So quality. We got a bevy of great games coming up later today. We'll tell you more about it in a moment. Marcus Jones gets ahead for a couple of yards. This is in the backfield now. On second down. Quick out pattern complete to Christian Blake. He is the favorite target, really. Another leader of this team here. If he comes back to the field, there it is. That's, I love that. Good defensive work by Eric. They call him E. Lee. He's got a completion. Matt Ferens will punt it away. And De Mornay Pearsonell is back deep again. He decides to field this one, and that was questionable. You want to be able to turn the field over. Two first downs you got to have. Second straight possession for inside the 10 for Nebraska, and Wilbarn gets it out to the 9. Directions left. 
Right over the middle, tight end, Tyler Hoppus. Nice job. Well, mission accomplished early, coach. They got the one first down. Halfway home. Lee stepping up. Beautiful throw. That's a dart out to the 37-yard line. Holding. Number 71. Offense. 10 yard penalty. First down. But he's coming off that edge with speed. It's intimidating. Little screen action. Will Bond in some trouble. Look at him negotiate. Three to go. Wow. Out nice nice play. play. Past the nice 25. Play. Illegal block in the back. Number 67. Offense. Half the distance to the goal. First down. First down and 24. And that's Lindsey. Tyjon Lindsey. He's in attack those safeties. Second and 17. A little middle screen this time to Pearson L. And he stopped at the 20. So he can see the come around screen. Third and nine. Ooh. Intercepted again off the pressure. This one taken away by Jawan Johnson. Another pick six of the end of the Oregon game when they were trying to tie it up late. Draquan Brown, number 40, was the guy that came from the outside. The route, forget about it, never really had a chance to develop because of that pressure. It was the pressure on lead that caused the errant pass. Times the early window in sports television on a Saturday is talented enough. He's one of those guys that's talented enough to play in the Big Ten. Spielman from the goal line. JD took it, it back home. to the house. It home. He's got room to the right. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ball on the ground late. Ball on the ground late. I think they're going to say he was down. down. Yep. yep. I think he was down. Down by contact. The, the ruling on the field is that the ball carrier was down yep. before the ball came out. First down, Nebraska. I, I mentioned down by contact. That's more of an NFL vernacular. And therefore, it's his, re Number his possession. Offense, five-yard penalty, first down. He's bitten on this offense. Bad snap. Tanner Lee did all he could just to get it, and now Wilbon is in some trouble because of it. Ball came out. Second has got to settle down. Second and 15. Over nice. the middle. Spielman, he overshot him. And almost got another pick, too. Should have been a nice, easy completion. Yep. Third and 15. Uh, pressure up the middle again. Pass incomplete. Neck area. Good coach football there. Caleb Lightborn will boot it away. I'm hoping it gets into the end zone and it does for the touchback. 55 yard boot. <laughs> he, actually, he actually had Gundy as his offensive coordinator. That's right. I root for Mike so I know you and do. I, and I love Oklahoma State. Jordan Huff reels that one in at the 25 yard line. Now in halftime, Jordan Huff is in the backfield for Santa Catarina. And it's Huff ahead for a couple of yards. Cruz contain. Pressure inside on third and two, and on the crossing pattern, it's Spencer Tears, number 14. Seven man box, but you know, and it just changed the alignment. First and 10, Santa Catarina, who can run it and run it well, out to the 39 yard line. And up here, they went to a balance look real quick. Yeah, used all of that play clock nice. and got the right play called. That's Jordan Huff for a first down. Yep. He's 14 24. there for yards. He's seldom does he ends up with zero. And here he goes again. Got a great block from his wide receiver, too. How about that block? God, he's playing like a camp technique inside eyeball and now stay at home. Or reverse pass. And they got a tight end down there. Well covered, though. Good defensive work by Reed. Marcus Jones is in the backfield. A check down to Marcus. And he stopped at the 28-yard line, so a negligible gain. It'll be third and long. Fake the jet sweep, and Childers takes it right up the gap. You're winning the numbers game. You don't spend an extra fullback in there to block. That's Omaha's own Christian Hagen missing this one. This is a homecoming for him. First and L flanked to the top of your screen. There you go. He gets out of the pressure. Move. Rolling right. And finds nice Pearson L at the 24-yard nice line. Jet sweep to Spielman. He's ahead to the 30-yard line. Here in the second quarter, Wilbon in the backfield. And McHale is ahead. Is a great How line. about that? Beyond the 40. The lone setback. And he dropped oh. it. Ball is on the ground. Tanner Lee gets it. And falls on it wisely back at the 39-yard line. Bryant has been... The guy you could really count on, and he's not available today to do that knee injury. And there's Stanley Morgan taking that quick out, and then 
A little yak yardage. Good news. So the veteran center back on the field. And Quarterback sneak. Yeah, should Lee be. should let's go. Should be close, but boy, that was good work by the interior line of Northern Illinois. That's 46 on first down. Towards the boundary and stopped after a gain of maybe three. Lee on the comebacker, running that curl, and again, outstanding defense. Just a four man rush with a gain. Pressure, he didn't feel it off the edge. Ball is loose, it's picked up, and going the other way, Bobby Jones. Jones trying to get to the house and is stopped at the 10 yard line of the Oregon game late. The pressure came right around right tackle on that side, Timmy. Nebraska, you think offensive line, What you're line, saying, right? yeah, let's see if the ball gets back. Let's see if he has it when he hits the ground. Well, let's he see. Had, he he has ahead. the ball until it hits the ground. After further review, the quarterback had control of the ball when yep. he hit to the ground. Therefore, there is no fumble. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, nice work, Coach Miles. <laughs> nice work. Of the opposite direction. Still, it's fourth down, and they'll boot it away. Lightborn going high in the air and taken by Embry as he falls down at the 23 and half. But being outscored big in the first week after week, Santa Catarina goes wide. Here we go. The team nice is down. down at the 15 yard line. Good. Backer for Nebraska. Loss of eight. Now Santa Catarina with the run pass option decides to let it fly and it's Jawan Wesley and Wesley is going to step out at the 30 and three this time Santa Catarina keeps it in that late push will net him another first down make those calls nice. right in the quick quick look in pattern for DJ Brown on a fumble recovery and return now they get another break a bad snap and it's run down by Jones I don't know that Santa Catarina was ready for that snap. Outside of the unbalanced look, and Coach referenced okay. that it was an unbalanced look. You can see Santa Catarina's eyes was not even focused on the football. She's saying you've got more to the right than you do to the left. And that ball is batted down. Good pressure from the interior. This is an offense not built for third and long, and you see one here. Khalil Davis again with the penetration. He started it. Issues fielding punts today in decision making. This one is low off the side of the foot, and I think he touched that one. He better get on it. He better get on it, and he does at the 20. It has been an adventure every time. Bruised, battered, and picked. That look in is caught. Look at DeMornay. He's got big play capability. Gets it out to the 34-yard line. Tom Rathman. And not, yeah. Not, not a bad idea. McNitt, the fullback, and they give it to Wilbon. And McHale is on his way. He gets it down all the way to the 40-yard line. Again, dots the eye. McNitt, the up back. Play fake. Good play fake. And that cross is incomplete. Back with Spielman in motion. Oh, my gosh. Up the middle. Just right by the guy. Right, right, right by tackle. the center. Absolutely. No one blocked on third downs. This one is caught. The Mornay personnel inside down, the 30, baby. down Here to the go. 27. Balled out in terms of losing the football. On first Ran down. And the dog. Right well up the gut again. Up to the 20. Back. Spring that play for seven yards. Now Tanner Lee with time. Over the middle into double coverage. Into Come, on. Come on now. Here we go. Lee out of the shotgun. Pressure on the edge again. Well, yeah, that should have been go. called. Spielman. Spielman did not come up with that one. Hoppus 88. Lee, there it is. They flood it. Will Bond's got a first down. Nice job. Nice job. Pressure again. That's the issue with Tanner Lee. He is a bit of a statue in that pocket. Steps up this time. Looking long. Oh, we, may have. we should. Yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? No, no, no flag. Mike Kelty Williams back there. DeMornay Pearson L, the intended receiver. Jousting, but this seemed to be obvious to me. Yeah, he's in his chest. He's laid lateral in his chest. In this half. Lee again. Underneath the will bind stop. How good are those corners and linebackers? And he's going to get more Heisman hype to go along with Darnold and Mayfield and Lamar Jackson. Drew Brown will try this kick. Blocked. Wow. Uh, blocked. It's been all Northern Illinois this entire first half. Problems continue for Nebraska. You can see him get that hand up inside. There he is, Here's that the right kick. paw. 
The, the kick needed to come up quicker. All right. At halftime, they are stunned and even booing, and that doesn't happen much here. Right now, let's lead you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles for the State Farm Halftime Show. Beginning of the game, then that quality drive that ended in the pick six. Drew Brown, who had his field goal attempt blocked to close the half, kicks it through for the touchback in the second half. Fake the jet sweep and go with Huff right up the middle. He had a very good start in the first quarter and is in the slot to the top of your screen. Santa Catarina decides to usher himself out of bounds. Consecutive sellout. And push. they are really quiet now. Yeah, they're going to push the ball upfield now. Cover two. Lee running out of time. Oh, no. Puts it up in oh, the air. No. That is a dying quail that could be picked off. And that was very fortunate for him. Displayed thus far with the Northern Illinois club. Lightborn with the boot. Jalen Embry is back deep. He's got room this time. Plenty of room. And a nice convergence there late by Nebraska. Lincoln, and right now it's the Huskies running down on Nebraska here in Lincoln. And here's Santa Catarina. Well, he's nifty back there. He saw he had nothing. Uh, they had plenty of time. It's a full two it's a full two quarter game at this point. That was uh, a knee on the ground after the quick curl by Christian Blake. Santa Catarina in trouble, and down he goes. Get it off about his 18-yard line. Again, backing up, DeMorne Pearsonell, but he'll take it. Off he goes. Yeah. And there's a block in the back. Yeah, block in the back. And that'll set him back. He did not go out of bounds. He's still up. And finally, Burrows down at the 45, but they'll bring this back. During the, the return, holding, 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 number 36 of the return team. 10 yards in the spot of the foul. First down, Nebraska. A second year of eligibility because of a rare utilized rule within compliance. This is a quick pass to his tight end, Tyler Hoppus, lead this team. Mikhail Wilbon in the backfield. That, running that draw again. Okay. <laughs> down number 22, the junior. And here's Lee. There you go. That pass is knocked away. That's great coverage. Safety help coming from Mikhail Allen, number 20. You just got to make better decisions. Lightborn to boot it away, low line, line driver, drive. Embry. Oh. oh, he touched it. That ball is live. It's muffed, and it's recovered. It's still on oh, the loose, no. back at the two. Maybe the one, Nebraska should have it, and they do. Special teams, Embry is trying to make it. He gets his left foot caught in the turf. The turf monster pulls him down. He can only reach, but he touches the ball. That means it's live. Nebraska's all over it. Now they have a chance to create an inflection point here. <laughs> should score. Will Bond stopped in his track. Ah. I want you to take a look at this. Very rarely do you see guys second and goal. Pull back. And now there's room. There's room for the quarterback. Touchdown. Nice Nice shot. They immediately come off of this play onto the fullback, right. and there was no, there was no open guy. It was, it's a nice play action. Brown with the extra point, and he puts it through. Has really played on a much higher level for much of this game, but a problem in special teams cost them a touchdown there. Here's Christian Blake with the return. He's ahead to the 25-yard line. It'll be true for Ohio State later today in the game with Army. That'll be on Fox. Jordan Huff. Out beyond the 40 to the 42 here. The stalwart in the wake of all of the injuries. On first down, little jet sweep action to Blake. Well read by Nebraska. He'll lose yardage here. Four Illegal yards. formation. More than four players in the backfield on the offense. Penalty is declined. Second down. Out of the shotgun, quick hitch. It's out to DJ Brown. And he jitterbugs his way beyond the 44 to the 45. Oh. Left side. Pressure inside, nice. the pass is oh. overthrown. Intended for D.J. Brown. Bringing pick number 91 <laughs> for Nebraska. I can hold it, dude. Yeah. I can hold it, dude, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you passed the phonetics test in week one last. Nice. A beautiful punt. It rolls down to the 10 after the exchange of punt. Third down, first down and 10. And that pass incomplete. Probably should have been caught. There's not a lot of separation, though. There really isn't. Will Bond bounces off one. He's got the first down beyond the 20. Trying to go with that sweep into the boundary, and Spielman was stopped in his tracks. 16. Nice. Quick 
crossing nice. pattern yeah, nice. to Stanley yeah. Morgan. He's, He's got it for a first down. They ain't, Coach. How about right there? They go with a fullback. He's got the first He's got down. It. Yeah, that's exactly right. To become a pro-style offense, it's Mike Riley's wheelhouse. Will Bond stopped at the point of attack. May have lost a yard, and that's happened before to them. Memphis is also another solid program out of the American Conference. Oh, beautiful move by Lee to Morgan, and Stanley Morgan is on his feet. Out of bounds at the 40 of NIU. Because of the pressure, Lee steps up, and he starts to take off, but he pulls it down. That presence of mind, the, seat, the open receiver, working his way back again was Morgan Jr. He does a nice job of settling so the quarterback can, can deliver a pass. Back in the backfield, <laughs> and he'll take it. Go on in there, big fella. Keep moving. Just keep driving. That's it. There you go. Go get you five or seven. There's the old coach coming out. On second and two. Stop for basically the line of scrimmage. I don't think you got anything. Kyle Pugh injuries and the opportunities of players gaining more eligibility. That pass is Ooh. tipped around dangerously. Fourth down and two. Looking for the quick hitter. There it is. First down. Nice Spielman. Spielman with the reception. Play fake. That pass is batted down and almost picked by Kyle Pugh. I know you do. Wilbon in the backfield. Gets ahead for two. Down to the 20. This will bring up a third down. Ryan Reimer is number 83. is at the bottom of the screen. Lee over the middle. Nice. Time Come on. And it's overthrown for Ketter. 89. You got to leave your feet. I agree. You got to leave your feet. If your hands touch it, that should be touchdown. Big kick. Drew Brown. This is from 36, and he gets it through the uprights due last year. And that shows you what a little, uh, yeah. a little momentum will do. Kicks it uh, dang near and stands since the first time. Let's see if Rod Carey's team can answer. Well, this guy has been money all day. Huff a 10 through at least the third quarter. Here's Jordan Huff again. He's in all kinds of trouble behind the line of scrimmage. Great penetration that time. Total yards offensively. Huff, Huff's gotten most of it. Santa Catarina is sacked. First to get there, Khalil Davis, 94. So after 116 total yards, that sack of six means 110 total given up by Bob Diaco's defense. DeMornay personnel brings it in. Trying to get through a small crack, building a point to the opposition as we begin here this series and there's a great quick pass to morgan stanley morgan finally run down inside the 45 at the 42. kale wilbon Money. is in the backfield play fake leaves the double move on the fly your double move yeah you gotta catch it though yeah, but he did not have he did not have control from northern illinois if they stout defensively wilbon corralled inside the 40 at the 37 yard line touching here Lee with it's time, on. it's right there for Spielman. JD. Here we go. Only a couple of yards away from a TD. Wilbon dots the eye. McHale's got it. And he burrows in. Are they gonna give it to him? Throw him up, good boy. Throw Touchdown. Him up. Throw him up. You're gonna take a look at the, the right knee, and again, we can slow it down and just once he gets through that little trash and you advance it a little bit more, Where's you the, can yeah. see right about. Yeah, I agree. You've got to remember where the ball is, though, as he's going down. Everyone's looking at his uh, tush, and they're looking at his knee, but where the ball is, it's a must-see TV review, for us. Right. The ball carrier's hip was down, and the ball was at the half-yard line. It'll be second down at the half-yard line. It's Lee keeping it, and they give him the touchdown. The two. This is just old school football on the second effort. The nose of the ball crosses the line. Among the praises to us last night about the work the compliance office did on his behalf, awaiting this kick. If they can mount their own comeback, they've been shut down by Bob Diaco's defense. It'll be a touchback. To this point, they need to get yards in the throw game. Well, Carlos is in the game. Khalil is out, and they go long for Blake. He's got it inside the 30. How do you do? And just throw that ball up there. Set it just the previous play. You got to push the ball vertical. Yards on that play, they had 51 in this half prior to that. Huff ahead to the 25. 
And they run right in that direction on the right side. Power there, Les. Yes, that's, that, that's, that's, that's what you like to see. That's Jordan Huff. Back, back to the wing into the boundary now. Antonio Reed needs to bring a little bit with him. Ball start. start. Number 89, offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Football, and that's what Northern Illinois is all about. Kevin Kane, his offensive coordinator, came back as well. A defensive coordinator, yes. He got it going and took their team to the Independence Bowl. I remember it well. Looking pattern to Blake. He's down to the two and maybe the one. Out of the gun. Huff is the lone setback. He carries the mail. He totes it in for a touchdown. What an answer. Big time response from Northern Illinois. No question. In the early second half. Hagen boots it through. Christian Hagen will kick it away. Well, to your point, Tim, he's got three MAC championships, although two of them were shared right. under his belt. Spielman. Stopped at the 23, moves forward to the 24. Back to them, they're, they're used to this. Back in the day, we would have called them the ultimate fly in the oint. Oh, right, yes. Spencer. Yes, sir. Mikhail Wilbon stopped a yard sh uh, be respected, particularly in the Mid-American Conference. Here's Wilbon. Mikhail bouncing out. He gets to the 30, up to the 31. Kyle Pugh with that. Lee. Over the middle and caught. There's Stanley Morgan. Come with some this time, and it's a quick hitch. Out to the boundary, personnel. Damone personnel gets it inside the 40 to the 36. And the eye back is Ozigbo. Play fake, pressure off the edge. Nice Lofting it deep for Rhymers, incomplete. Check it down. Underneath, it's Rhymers, 83. The junior from here in Lincoln is 94. They've been the primary targets. Here we go on third down. The curl, and it's Ryan. Nice throw. And he had it. He dropped it. Oh. I think they're going to rule it incomplete. Yeah, on the field the incomplete line, coach. pass. Fourth down. You yep. he did not have control of it. You're absolutely right, Coach. Keep J.D. Spielman in mind. He converted the last fourth down, and he did last week, too. Nice. Over the middle and thrown behind the intended receiver. It appeared to be the tight end, Hoppus. And over there defending was Mikhail Allen. And so... They're now four out of five on fourth down. A big moment for Northern Illinois is the setback. Northern Illinois just needs first downs and let the clock go tick, tick, tick. That's correct. And Huff is at the 35-yard line, a gain of two. Now 12 carries for 82 yards. And they go RPO this time towards the boundary, and it's Juwan Wesley remains the setback. Nice bounce. Well, this kid has been outstanding, and he delivers the blow again. Those two tight end wings. Must stop time now, or this clock is going to continue to work against the Huskers. Northern Illinois looking for the upset today, a 14-point underdog. And Huff burrows under to about the 36-yard line. For Nebraska defensively. Santa Catarina with time, looping it long and incomplete. I'm a little surprised. I don't that, understand that. Yeah, I'm surprised at not going just for the chains right there. DeBornay personnel is back deep. Barons will boot it away, tries to pooch it. Incredible. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> On a coach, not a, not, a, not a conventional broadcaster for many years. There's Mikhail Wilbon ahead to about the 23-yard line. Has answered the bell with the loss of Trey Bryant this week. Pressure again. Tanner Lee takes a massive hit at the 24-yard line. And down and six. Off the edge. Again, more pressure. Down he goes at the 15, and it's Sutton Smith. The situation kills the tackle. Fourth and 14. They, they know it's they're throwing the this football. This is the game, uh -oh. and it's picked off on fourth and 14. Corcoran comes away with it. And Northern Illinois is on the doorstep of conquering the Big Ten again. What a, what a great afternoon that uh, After the play was Northern over, Illinois will look forward to. Like conduct. Number 19. The defense. Shawan Lurie with the uh, sportsman like. First down, Northern Illinois. Bob Diaco's defense reacted for the most part a really good game for them. You know, Nebraska was scoring 37 points per game, and you can see another cheap shot taken and a flag flying late. Vision. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 21 of the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Spencer, and they've done it today with defense and power. And one big pass to Christian Blake. There was no reason for that from Lamar Jackson. That's more than chippy. It's more than unsportsmanlike. But Northern Illinois didn't know that. 
and their coaching staff didn't. First season of football in Northern Illinois was 1899. They won a national championship against Delaware in 63. They were playing Division II. <laughs> Mike Corsick, their longtime SID, I know watching back at home has got to be very, very proud. They have been a, a magnificent Mid-American Conference team for a long time, and they've earned this. This is a wonderful moment in the history of Northern Illinois University, and good for Rod Carey and staff. Means everything to that program. No question. It's another Big Ten win. It's a, it's a game on the road where you came in to take care of business, and you brought down a big fish. You brought down the Huskers in Memorial Stadium. They'll talk about this for a lifetime. Congratulations to Rod Carey in a, a great Northern Illinois effort. That's a backup quarterback, Daniel Santa Catarina, sophomore from Geneva, Illinois. Played his first game against Eastern Illinois, his second career start actually, after Ryan Graham's elbow injury. He made that one big play that you had to have once his team fell behind. Look at those pictures, look at that celebration.